So there are many things that practices can do to identify some of these financial issues before um, they explode and really harm the practice. A regular review of your financial statements and the key performance indicators, the other key performance indicators that don't, cost, don't come off of the financial statements are important. Now one of the things that's important, and I would consider this a mishap in a practice too, is if you don't have a good quality accounting system or a good quality system for gathering this data, then it's a garbage in, garbage out kind of a situation. So first of all, you've got to make sure that the data that you are collecting is accurate and then you've got to review it. You've got to understand what norms are. So. Um, you may look at your inventory cost and really not know, okay, are these good or bad? But let's say in a typical practice, drugs and medical supplies expenses 16 or 17 percent of gross revenue. If you're at 16, then that's that's great. But if you're at 25, you really need to understand, okay, how come it how come in my practice we have to spend more on inventory? Or if staff costs, non-doctor staff costs are typically 20%, 21%, and you're at 26%, again, it's important to understand what's going on there. Now, a practice may end up deciding that I don't want to make a change, I don't want to operate more leanly, and that's always their decision to make, but they need to understand what the, the hit to the bottom line is, what, what's going to happen to their profitability. And similar review of some of these non-financial statement metrics like new clients or revenue per doctor or numbers of transactions will help, help a practice identify when things are starting to get out of whack um, at an earlier stage rather than later. And there's published benchmarks out there that are of good quality. Um, not every practice, I mean, I, I think sometimes practices say, oh, well, I don't want to compare myself to benchmarks because my practice is different. Well, every practice is different, but still, if staff compensation is 20% of gross revenue and you're at 25, there's a problem. You may not, you may choose not to fix the problem, but you need to understand what's going on and what the ramifications are.